Thank you, Jesus. This night, we are going to read the scripture. And I will encourage everyone to bring a Bible and look at the scripture. You may open the book of Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31 to 32. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31 to 32. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I read. The Bible says, Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you, with all malice, and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God in Christ forgave you. Now, this is a very critical statement that the scripture is making tonight. The first sentence says, let all bitterness, all wrath, and so on and so forth be removed from us. And we have been encouraged to forgive one another, just as God in Christ Jesus forgave us. Now, we are laying emphasis on bitterness. We are laying emphasis this night on bitterness. This is because we live in a time that so many things make a child of God to be embittered. We get us over so many things. We get embittered over so many things. And the enemies know very, very well that when a child of God is embittered, he or she will not pray very well. And so this night, we are going to reflect on the dangers of bitterness. The dangers of bitterness. As a matter of fact, we all know what bitterness means. So the issue this night is, how dangerous is it? How do I overcome it? What do I do? Bitterness is dangerous, especially in regard to prayer, because it inhibits prayer. Bitterness accumulates when you withhold forgiveness. When you're supposed to forgive somebody and uh, you haven't forgiven that person and the time is elapsing from day to weeks and months or years, the result is bitterness. So unforgiveness graduates into bitterness. If you forgive somebody really from your heart, you find that you wouldn't even have you won't even have bitterness. So this is why we need this night to pray against our spirits because it's very dangerous. Bitterness goes down into the fabrics of our lives and affects us. If you are in bitter, you cannot be happy. And when you carry the bitterness around and you've carried it over time, you see that people will see you and see that you, you are looking unhappy just because the enemies have sown the seed of bitterness. So bitterness needs to be destroyed before it destroys the child of God. Since bitterness goes into the depth of our lives and it tries even to attack the foundation of our lives spiritually, even to the extent of drying up the roots of our lives, then it means that we, can, we should not in any way give room for bitterness into our own lives. Simply speaking, bitterness dries up life. It 
takes away joy. It makes you to have resentment all over your life. Little things to make you aggressive. It's just like a moving bomb. Bitterness. You see somebody that resembles the person that offended you, and then you get annoyed. Even when that person doesn't have anything to do with you, but just because he, he has a complexion of the person that offended you, or talks like him, or walks like him, or dresses like him, can even simulate you know, some thoughts of the person that embittered you. And that can result in messing up the whole day, or the whole week, or even the whole month. So, we cannot afford to keep suffering from bitterness. It's a serious spiritual problem, more than psychological. It withers the individual. It withers one mentally. Even withers somebody socially and even physically. Emotionally, the person is deranged. The person is distorted. Bitterness cannot come into the life of anyone and leave that person better. It's impossible. A bitter person is simply a dangerous person. Because you don't even know what to do to him to make him happy. He's always hanging on the past. He's always taking the pictures of the past. It's not, it's not enough to say that Bitterness is like a cancer. Now we know that cancer is a serious threat to the modern society. But I tell you that the bitterness is also a threat to the soul of people, to, our, to the lives of human beings. The Bible says in Psalm 66 verse 18, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. So now if we regard bitterness in our hearts, the implication is that our prayer is even shielded from being answered. We may be going to church, but as far as we carry the badge of bitterness, it weighs down our prayers. It attacks us completely. And so this night is the night for us to ask us all questions is there any bitterness in me? Is there any badge or garment of bitterness that I am carrying about? Many a time you tell somebody or we tell somebody, God bless you. But right inside, we are full of bitterness. We just say that, God bless you, you know, just for saying sake. But right inside, we are moving bombs. God wants us this night to come out of that problem. And he's going to help us to come out of it. He's going to help us to come out of it tonight. Many of us have been embittered by people who are close to us. Even family members may have embittered us to the level that there is no reason even to have to do that person any longer. But Jesus is saying tonight, I am going to help you to overcome that problem. Bitterness is dangerous, brother. Sister, bitterness is dangerous. It's something that we cannot afford to continue to live our life with. The Bible made it clear in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15, See to it that no one misses the grace of God, and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile you, or defile many. So you can see, bitterness can have a root if you do not uproot it early. It can have a root, it can go down, and then you start living your life for bitterness. It is very, very dangerous especially when it has taken root, when it has developed tap roots, then it becomes something else. But God is telling us today, in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15, 
see to it that no one misses the grace of God, and that no bitter root goes up to cause trouble and defile many. In other words, bitterness defiles many. Think of a tree. No matter how big the tree is, a tree may look like, no matter how deep the tap root may go, if that tree, if that tap root is drawing poison from the ground, you will see the leaves drying up. So is bitterness. If our root is the root of bitterness and it draws that poison, it dries up prayer. It dries up miracles. It dries up joy. It takes away everything that makes you happy. It just takes them away. And that is what the enemy wants to take a child of God to, so that he won't be happy to pray. But the good thing tonight is that God is coming to help us tonight in the name of Jesus. So how to guard against bitterness? The Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence. Guard your heart with all diligence. In other words, we have the responsibility to guard our hearts. Never to allow bitterness to take root. Somebody can actually offend you, and then don't allow bitterness to get, off, to get into you. Somebody can do you certain things that is very bad. You can get annoyed for that moment. Why, did you, why should he do me this? You can get disappointed. You can actually get angry. But, please, the Bible says, let that anger not even last till the morning. In other words, as much as possible, keep it out of your mind. Let it not see the next day. Because if it does see the next day, it may graduate into bitterness. And there is no bitter person that is a safe person. Once bitterness encroaches a life of someone, that person needs to be prayed over. Remember, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31 to 32 reminds us that all bitterness should be taken out of our lives. And we should forgive one another. Just as God himself has forgiven us. We now have heard of families, but because there was a problem between a member of the family and the rest of the family, and then that person said, no, I don't have anything whatsoever to do with this family again. Rejected the father, rejected the mother, rejected the siblings. Bitterness. And so this night, we are going to pray against the spirit of bitterness. Whatever thing that the enemies have planted in my life, or whatever glory of mine that has been inhibited because of bitterness, we pray that this night God himself will remove that cloud of bitterness from our lives in the name of Jesus. So I don't know where you have been embittered. Maybe your husband has embittered you so bad or your wife, or your children, or your office mate, or your boss, whoever is the person, this night, we are going to call upon Jesus to come and help us, to come and deliver us from the spirit of bitterness, from that cancer. And we we'll call on God and say, Lord Almighty, deliver me. I am forgiving this Mr. A, B, or C. And I, I'm not giving room again for bitterness to take root in my life. I have opened the door of bitterness by not being bold enough to forgive. But Father, this night, I am doing myself good by forgiving that person. And by praying that Jesus shall help me to overcome that bitterness. Maybe it's your mother-in-law. Maybe it's your father-in-law. Maybe it's your brother, your sister, whatever the situation. Ask God tonight to help you, to overcome that spirit. Let him remove that spirit of bitterness. Every spirit of bitterness in my life, every spirit of bitterness that is resident in my life, I command that spirit tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be consumed by fire, 
be consumed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be consumed by fire. Call upon Jesus. Call upon him now. Ask him to come and help you. That spirit of bitterness, demon of bitterness, we command you now in the name of Jesus. Come out of my life. Come out of my family. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes, pray, 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 pray. Call upon Jesus. Call upon Jesus. Bitterness, bitterness. Your time is over. Your time is over. Your time is over in my life. In the name of Jesus. You spirit of bitterness. Your time is over in my life. In the name of Jesus. I command you now. In the name of Jesus. Come out of my life now. Come out of my family. Come out of my family. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of bitterness. Resident in me. Eating down my joy. Eating down my glory. Eating down my testimony. Your time is off now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my Sherry Makia. Pray, 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 pray. Call upon Jesus. Call upon Jesus. Let him appear. Let him appear with the rod of deliverance. Let him appear with the rod of deliverance. And deliver me from the rod of evil. From every bitterness. Jesus. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver your people from the spirit of bitterness. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of bitterness that has been terrorizing me, that has kidnapped me, I command you in the name of Jesus. Come out! Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. We command them to come out. We command them to come out. Every spirit of bitterness that has been covering my glory, that has been attacking me, we command that spirit of bitterness. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire. You spirit of bitterness, come out of my life and dry up. Come out of my life and dry up. Come out of my life and dry up. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, pray, 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 pray. Every spirit of bitterness that has been in my life, I command you to expire. I give you a quick notice. I divorce you today. No more shall you live in my life. Oh, my share back here. Pray, 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 pray. You spirit of bitterness. Come out and dry. Come out of my life. 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 Come out of my Come out of my life. 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 I bite to bitterness in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord and my Father. Yes. Every spirit of bitterness living in me be consumed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of bitterness be consumed by fire. Let them catch fire and catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to use this opportunity to pray for one of our sisters who cannot understand why one of her sisters in the house, one of the siblings, has refused to forgive the parents and just took off and left the house. For years now, they have no contact with her. This her sister does not want to have anything to do with any of her siblings again. Not even the parents. Our sister has done her best to reconnect with the sister, but no way. Sent even registered males, no way. And we are going to pray that the demon of bitterness that is in that lady shall be destroyed by fire tonight in the name of Jesus. Yes, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray now. Ask God to destroy that spirit of bitterness that is in this sister. That for years doesn't want to do anything with the siblings again. That doesn't want to do anything again with the parents. Let God 
Yes, touch her, touch her, touch her. And give her a deliverance this night. And let that very spirit that is in that sister catch fire, 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 and be consumed by fire. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. The spirit of bitterness will command them to be destroyed by fire. Every bitterness in my life, every bitterness in my life, every spirit of resentment in my life, every spirit of rancor in my life, we command them to receive Holy Ghost fire. Let them burn by 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 fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to lift a sister in prayer who has been struggling to forgive the father because she believed that the father had done so much against her and her fellow siblings. And she is finally difficult to forgive the father. But after some ministration with her, it has come to the point that she now wants to forgive. But she's struggling with that, though. She's just struggling with that. And now she has accepted that by this Friday of this week, that she's going to be bold enough to meet the Father and to reconcile with Him. And we are praying tonight that God Almighty will deliver her from every arrow of bitterness that she is carrying about. Every spirit of bitterness, every badge of bitterness that is resident in her life, let God this night destroy, 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 destroy. Yes, 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 yes. Every spirit of bitterness in the life of our sister, we command that spirit of bitterness in the name of Jesus. Dry up, dry up, dry up from the root, dry up from the root, dry up from the root, dry up. Command to dry up. Let it dry up. Every spirit of bitterness. <laughs> Fire! Is us. Is us. Yes, 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 yes. We pray upon our sister for healing and for deliverance. For healing and for deliverance. Every power that has kept her in bondage because of unforgiveness. Let the blood of Jesus destroy such demon spirits. Destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord and my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Ancient of Days. My dear people of God, bitterness is like a smoke. It's like a smoke. When bitterness comes to somebody, it will cover that person. It will enshroud that person. There's a smoke that comes with bitterness. That smoke is a dark smoke. A dark smoke. And when that person is moving, the person is moving in the atmosphere of dark smoke. The person is covered. And you can't see through the dark smoke. It's like a layer of black smoke. It limits the person's vision. It limits the person's capacity to be free. It limits the person's capacity to be happy. You can't even see far. You become short-sighted. The only thing you see are the things around you. Hatred. Resentment. These are things you'll be seeing. You'll be seeing and thinking of how to hurt that person. And most of the time, at advanced level, when this thing graduates to a dead end, they just level, the next thing is for everything around the person to be suffering. <laughs> the person will get a job, everyone will suffer, even the boss. Everybody will be suffering. In the house, nobody is at peace with the person. The person wants to be alone because they carry a badge of sorrow, a badge of resentment, a badge of bitterness. Many of us are carrying such badge. Many of us are carrying such badge. And it is this prayer of this night that Jesus wants to use to deliver us from such spirits. 
And Satan understands the dangers of bitterness. And that's why he uses it as an arrow to attack the children of God, to make them bitter. The enemy can, if an enemy finds that you, you, you could easily get annoyed, he can just try to use your spouse or use your child or use somebody close to you just to make you annoyed and get, you get bitter. Bitterness can cover somebody's testimony. Even can cover somebody's glory. <laughs> it can keep you in a different world, making you a stranger in the present world. Can you imagine being a stranger to yourself because of bitterness? Now, when the sun is giving off its light in fullness in the in the in the peak of the day. You see that everywhere is bright. But while the cloud, a thick black cloud comes between the sun and us, the implication is that there will be a shadow. You can't see the sun again. Everywhere will look gloomy. Nobody wants that kind of situation. That is what bitterness does. It covers somebody's Son of righteousness. He covers somebody's joy. It will make even the, the rays of blessings not to reach the person. It becomes a shield repelling blessings. But this night, God is coming to deliver us in the name of Jesus. God is coming to deliver us in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 32, verse 7 to 8. Ezekiel chapter 32, verse 7 to 8. The Bible says, I will cover the whole sky and every star with thick clouds so that the sun and the moon will stop shining. The heavens will become black, leaving your country in total darkness. Now, this was a punishment that God released upon the rebellious community in the time of Ezekiel. The Lord spoke that he's going to cause the sky and the stars to be covered with thick clouds. That so that not even the sun, not even the moon can shine. And the heavens will become black and leaving the entire country in darkness. There are people whose country, when I say country, I'm not talking about geographical country. People whose life, that's your country, has been covered with total darkness. And the eclipse is taking place against that person because of bitterness. When the cloud, the thick cloud covers that bright sun, how can you see the sun? How can you see the stars? How can people see your star when you are covered with such black of cloud of bitterness? How can people see your talent? We pray tonight that every blanket or cloud of bitterness that is covering me this night, let the blood of Jesus Remove them from my life. Remove them from my life. Remove them from my life. Remove them from your life. Can you begin to pray now? Every blanket of bitterness, every thick cloud of bitterness that has enshrouded me, that has enveloped me, that is cementing me, we command them now in the name of Jesus. Break! 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 <laughs> yes, open your mouth and pray that prayer. Call upon Jesus. Call upon Jesus. Let him appear, let him appear. Let him appear and deliver somebody. Every cloud of bitterness in you, every cloud of bitterness in my life, we command them to melt. Let them disperse, let them disperse. Let the wind of fire, the wind of glory, the wind of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Deliver me tonight. Deliver me tonight. In the Holy Ghost. Deliver me tonight. Deliver me tonight. Jesus. 
de leva a meta night pre 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 as das curit comanda as pitres apia comanda as pitres apia yes 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 let the angels of God come with the blood of Jesus and pour them over you to deliver you from that bitterness in the name of Jesus every spirit of bitterness that is holding me captive we command you now in the name of Jesus break into pieces break into pieces Break into pieces, break into pieces, break into pieces, Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver your people. Deliver your people. Jesus. Come and deliver. Come and deliver. We need your deliverance from the spirit of bitterness. Father, deliver your people. Deliver your people. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yeah, pray, 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 pray. Cry to him now. Cry to him now. Let him come down. Let him come down and protect us and shield us in the name of Jesus. Every wall, wall of bitterness, every wall, wall of bitterness surrounding me. I command you now in the name of Jesus. Scatter, scatter, break. Masheri Makia. Yes, pray, 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 pray. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, pray now, pray now. Every wall of bitterness that is resident in my family, we command them to fall down. Every wall of Jericho of bitterness, yes, 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 yes. Every danger of bitterness against me, we command it to be destroyed. We command it to be destroyed. Is us. Yeah, pray, 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 pray. Bitterness, spirit of bitterness that is hanging around me, that is hanging on my shoulder. Every spirit of bitterness hanging on my shoulder. Command you now, command you now in the name of Jesus. Fall down and dry. Dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up. Ha <laughs> ha. Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Don't get that. Don't get that. Prayer, 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 prayer. Something must happen. Something must happen. Every spirit of bitterness that is hanging on my shoulder, that is hanging on my head, we command it to expire in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Every spirit of bitterness that is coming against me, that is activated against me, that is at work against me. We command them to catch fire. Let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. And break into pieces. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Joel chapter 2, verse 30 to 31, I will walk wonders in the sky above and on the earth below. There will be blood, fire, and a cloud of smoke. The sun will turn dark, and the moon will be red as blood before that great and terrible day when I appear. Now this is the Lord speaking. Speaking on how he's going to treat the evil people. How are you going to treat the rebellious nations? We pray that we shall not be among these people that will receive this punishment in the name of Jesus. But let us take note of that phrase there that talks about the clouds of smoke. That bitterness is like a cloud of smoke. We pray that no more shall it be with us in the name of Jesus. No matter what is the situation, the Lord is calling upon us tonight to shake it out and drop it. Shake it out, shake it out. That bitterness, shake it out. It can't hang on me again. It can't hang on my shoulder. My shoulder cannot be your, your, where you will be hanging. You can't be hanging on my shoulder. You spirit of bitterness, you cloud of smoke of bitterness, I shake it out of my life. Shake it out, shake it out. Jesus. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Trouble me no more again. I command you in the name of Jesus, be the sword and be consumed by fire. Every spirit of despair, every storm, storm of bitterness. Sometimes a bitterness can come like a storm against a family. And you see the whole family living in bitterness. You don't know that there is a storm of bitterness that has invaded their family. Nobody talks to each other in the family. That is not my family. That is not my home. We are praying tonight. Let that shadow 
of bitterness in such families. Hear the voice of the servant of God tonight. And catch fire and burn into pieces in the name of Jesus. Every shadow, every shadow of bitterness, every storm, storm of bitterness, invading my territory, invading my garden, invading my family, invading my health, invading my life. I command you now, in the name of Jesus, oh yeah, 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 Woo! move out and go to the abyss. Get 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 out and go to the abyss. Command to go to the abyss. In the name of Jesus. Command to go to the abyss. In the name of Jesus. We command them right now. Let them get ready. Let them get ready. Let them get ready. And go to the abyss. You can't hang on me. You can't hang in my family any longer. In the name of Jesus. I can't be paying my rent. And you believe in our family. No! In the name of Jesus. Yeah, pray, 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 pray. Every spirit of resentment, spirit of bitterness, coming into our family, be consumed by Holy Ghost fire. Yes, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let them be consumed by Holy Ghost fire. Yes, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let them be consumed by Holy Ghost fire. Let the fire burn them down. The fire of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Burn them down, burn them down, and destroy their territories, and dry up their roots, and dry up the roots, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, every tree, tree of bitterness, tree of bitterness, I command it to dry up, from your root to dry up, from your root to dry up. That tree of bitterness planted in my family, dry up, dry up, dry up. Dry up from the root. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 that tree, that tree, that tree, that tree of bitterness, that tree of bitterness, that tree of bitterness, that is in my family, that is in my family, your time is up, I say your time is up, I command you now, in the name of Jesus, dry up, 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 command them to dry up, ah, Yes, 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 yes. Play aggressively, play aggressively, play aggressively. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. yes. The fire of God, the fire of God. Let them bomb by fire, let them bomb by fire. Every spirit of bitterness, every spirit of bitterness. I come against you, I come against you. Dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up from the root. Dry up from the root, dry up from the root. Yes, 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 prayer, 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 prayer. Command them to dry up, command them to dry up, don't pity for them. Dry them up, dry them up before they dry you. Dry them up before they dry you up. Dry them up, dry them up. By fire, by fire, let them be dried up. By fire, let them be dried up. By fire, let them be dried up. Dry them up, dry them up, command them to dry up. By fire. Yes, 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 pray, 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 pray. 
Yes, 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 yes. You planted a garden. You planted some plants in a garden. And everything was going well. Family was happy. You have a family, a happy home. But all of a sudden, you don't know that the enemy have come in the night to plant a seed like a weed. A weed of bitterness. A seed of bitterness. There in your garden. And ever since that time, they have been cooling the house. They have been commotion the house. They have been trouble in the house. But today, I have come to my senses. I have come to understand that this is demonic manipulation. That this is bitterness invading my house, invading my life, invading my family. And therefore tonight, I command that weed, that weed, that weed, weed of bitterness, weed of bitterness, that weed of bitterness planted in my garden, planted in my family, planted in my job, planted in my life. And I command you now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the blood of Jesus, Bakanda Raba Shariba Fire Let them bomb my 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 fire Every weed weed of bitterness Dry up Be the shower fire Be the shower fire Fire Now I receive my blessings. Now I receive my blessings. Now I receive my 
of blessings. Let there be an interstate, an interstate of blessings. Let there be an overflowing of blessings because the spirit of bitterness has been driven away into the abyss. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, my Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.